What's going on everyone, One Doctor Genius is back at you guys with another Stick War Legacy video and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be continuing on with Stick War Legacy normal mode and showing guys how to beat it super quickly, right guys? So over here let's collect ourselves our Archidons and the Castle Archer as a defense. Now what you guys will see over here is I will, I'm sure I want to upgrade my miners right now because these miners are a thing which your entire operation is lying on. If these guys can't mine fast and get you gold faster than the enemy team, you're gonna lose, right? Just trust me. What you guys want to do is you want to upgrade its pickaxe at least twice or the bag. Right now you guys will upgrade the pickaxe and now we're gonna be ambushed. Woohoo, let's do this. Ambush, your army has been attacked by natives of the land. Um, resist them until sunset so more units can arrive. Oh no, we have three of those spearden guys but luckily we have a vamp skin so these guys will gain some health back, right? Guys remember vamp skin? I can run away. We are cowards. Guys, remember the vamp skin is super OP because the vamp skin allows you to heal up while doing damage. Which is kind of crazy because then the opponent has to cast a lot more attacks on top of you to kill you. And what you guys want to do is for the time you guys are able to mine, what you guys want to do is you want to get yourself archers. Because archers will be key in this round because these are melee units like Spearden. So what you want to do is you just want to be able to like just snipe them from far away. That was a terrible sound effect. And over here you guys can see basically two of these spirit and shoulders are coming at us. And we also have two archers just freezing them to like death I guess you could say. But yeah here you guys can see what's going on. Hey -ya. And there you guys go. Ow. Someone hit me. Wow. These guys do really well. So you guys basically see the technique here. What you guys need to do is for this entire series. You guys need to make sure that your um, what do you call it? You guys need to make sure that your sword rant and archer dons are upgraded to the max. Right over here, you guys can see how these guys are completely destroying them. And hold up, are these guys able to knock back my units? Wait, did that guy just fall back over? Wow! Oh look, another wave of them is coming. There are only two of them, but they're gonna be like just shot at by two archers. Bam! There you guys go. You guys can see these people are trying to knock each other over, and this is lagging a bit. Yeah, it's, yeah, I know, the vamp skin is OP, right? It just continuously heals your units, so you can just keep on like, ah, why won't you die? But they keep on healing, so that's the thing. Right, so basically, you just want to wait until sunset, and this isn't going to be too hard. It's going to be a piece of cake. We have like a sword rat for each and every single one. You guys can see it's bam, that easy. Just look at all of that green stuff over there. They're healing up so much. And that was actually pretty easy if you guys ask me. Sure, it only took 2 minutes and nearly 30 seconds, but bam, there you guys go. Let's collect our stars, and now I think we should upgrade the pickaxe all the way, and maybe the miner's bag after that. And then next up, I'll upgrade the statue crown actually. Now the reason why I'll upgrade the statue crown is so that we can gain gold while we're not mining, or miners are dead. Now, here we go, we shall fight the mighty sword rat, and for this, the only thing which you guys need is archers. To be honest, the only thing you guys need over here is archers, like maybe at first you guys will need a flanks of sword rat, or half a flanks of sword rat, and then just archers, right? So over here you guys can tell the game is basically forcing you guys to build an archidon. So yeah, let's follow along with this tutorial, I mean you can not skip it unfortunately. Here you guys can see our Archidon is summoned in and I wish they could allow us to skip this tutorial on how to use an Archidon Although I do know they changed the mechanics a little bit and I do not like the mechanics change at all But you guys can see we're basically like forced to do all of this And this guy just decides to stop moving mid-match He's and like more arrows in the face. <laughs> He's like, he's like, you know what, I want to die I want to die, I'm gonna stand right in front of this guy Please, one more arrow Although, although when they're controlled, these guys end up doing a lot more damage and they usually don't do that much. But because this guy is long range, it gives them a huge advantage, although their damage right now isn't too good. Right in the thigh. Ow! That hurts! Stop it! And now you guys can see basically I just summoned in some of Sword Rats for no reason, so I guess my Sword Rats are gonna ruin this attack, although I should get more archers, right? Archers are much easier. Just look at this guy. He's just being tortured over there. He's just trying to stand over there and he's continuously getting sniped by arrows. <laughs> this guy must be like 
Why? That is still annoying. <laughs> you know, I can still stay after seven arrows. Not seven, I think that was like 38,000. Yeah, so basically what you guys want to do is like a must thing to do is to like get yourself like eight miners because once you get eight miners, the rest of the game goes by super easy. Yeah, but you guys could get sword rats, but in reality, the only thing you guys need over here is archidons. Because archidons are OP against sword rats. They're super long range, so that's a thing which you guys should get. In this case, our archidons, they have ice skin. And that kind of stuns the enemy. Well, it's so slow like, down. A few archidons and it just gives them hyperthermia and those people are like slow fast again slow fast again and in the meantime our archidon our sword rats are like well they're being slow so why not kill them <laughs> damn gone yeah so right now this would be enough to take over the statue although i want to get a few more archers Alright guys, I only need 25 more Archidons, although, uh, oh, okay. wow, wow, I should have been paying more attention to the enemy forces, that is a lot, well, you know what, there are a lot of them, but still, I think we can handle them, I mean, just look at all of this healing going on over here, just look at this healing, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, right, my trips aren't even dying, I don't think we lost it, let's just, like, defense now, you know, I think we could have taken it over. Let's just let uh, a couple of Archdons spawn in. That's all. Let's attack. attack again. Let's the yes, let's we'll let decimate their economy. Don't let them work and their units will keep on dying. And here you guys can see an encounter happens and looks like some people are gonna die. <laughs> Do you guys see those two sorters have very little health? Well, those two are gonna die. And it seems like someone got shot in the head with an arrow. I don't know how that type of physics works. This guy was running back, but he somehow got an arrow through his head while running back. What were my Archidons doing? Were they putting like strings on their arrows and yeeting them away so that the arrows would just yeet straight through them? Is that a sword through someone's head? No. <laughs> Never mind. But you guys can see over here, these guys are healing up even after attacking the statue, so that does help. And right now it seems like our Archidons are doing like most of the work. Wait, why did they stop? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess um, I guess they need to back up a little bit so they can attack. But do you guys see how slow these guys are moving? They're just like getting insta killed. And you guys can see, if you like just starve their economy, they won't be able to do much, and their statues are the only source of gold. So once you starve their economy, you can just like, what are they gonna do with the reinforcements? They have none. We already used them. There you guys go, no reinforcements, no gold means they start their economy and they don't get to work. And here we have our last sword rat which is coming there just to dance. This guy is like, do, 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 do. That last sword rat must be having a great day. Yeah, I guess that sword that just came there to dance. Do, 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 do. But now we unlock the sword rat. That it was kind of coffin dance, right? <laughs> and this guy's like, and he's coming to dance. the chance to upgrade the helmet and the sword. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the castle archers because we are going to need to use them for a little bit. But right now, let's upgrade the statue crown because the statue crown will automatically give us gold when our arch an hour when we are like stuck at home you know what i mean by stuck at home like when our troops are trapped like in a siege yeah you know english profession yay okay, let's dig some graves no let's find some board <laughs> and yeah so basically for every round the thing which i do is i get myself 10 miners usually and it works out pretty nice if you guys ask me 10 miners, eight. Eight, 10 miners, what am I saying? You get 8 miners, each get 100 or 125 gold, and bam, in a second you guys can see I'm basically getting 800 gold if all of them mine in synchronization. 16. 
Yeah, we just got 60 from the statue, which is pretty cool if you guys ask me. I mean, it does help out, although my gold isn't an always like an odd even number. And now, once you guys do this, we are facing against, against the spirit. And so, what you guys want to do is you want to get archers really fast because these guys will slow them down. And what you want is you basically want a lot of sword rats after that. You want at least the flanks of sword rats, which would be eight of them, right? Yeah, so what you guys want to do is you at least want two flanks of sword rats and the rest archers. That's all. And you guys will be able to win this stage easily. Just make sure that you have the ice skin equipped and the wham skin. Now, let's collect some archers. And maybe take a look at the enemy team. Not kind of hungry right now. <laughs> you can just hear my stomach rumbling being like, Food, give me the food. Alright, seems like we're being attacked by two Spiritans. We only have like, uh, five archers and now there are three. Right guys, I told you to like, upgrade them. Oh, hold up! He Did he just fall down? He got stabbed and he fell down? No! But you guys can tell, I told you guys to upgrade your, um, what do you call these guys? What are these? I told you guys to upgrade your castle archers really soon because you guys will need them to defend when your units are back. But even right now, we're still earning ourselves gold as you guys can see. Right, let's just obliterate these last few humans over here. These guys are just like, going over here to kill themselves. Right, you guys can see, the second they attack the statue, they get like 200 damage. 200, what am I speaking? But yeah, you guys can see basically these guys die super quickly and now this guy decides to run away. He's like, nope, the guy in front of me died, I'm not dying today. Eh. No matter, this guy will still die. No one will survive. But now over here you guys can see this Archidon force will be pretty mighty. They will be able to slow them down so much. And then basically the Wamps will just take care of them. I'm gonna call the Sword Rats Wamps now. And it seems like these Spirits are showing off their like, Ugh, these soldiers, these oh, these ones. What am I saying? These spears are shields are so heavy. Yeah, these spears are heavy. I mean they are, you did do that javelin throw, right? Wait, were you the best in javelin throw? You said you got the best score. Yes. Nice job. Here you guys can see these spirits be like, alright, let's just sit over here and like just wait for the enemy team to attack. It's not like we have enough people to like damage them or anything. Yeah, we go, yeah, we go eat to the shield. Yeah, what is up with their shield? Did they have some sort of string attached to it? Because I remember in my history classes, nowhere did our teacher mention that these guys turned their shields into yo-yos. <laughs> like, where did the guys get the skill? I think they remember that, I think I remember in ancient Sparta they used to say to their um, children before going to war, you either come back dead on your shield or you don't come back. <laughs> it's like you bring your shield or you don't come back. <laughs> The only time history lesson comes useful is when I'm doing commentary for games. <laughs> Our history teacher must be proud. She's like, I taught him something in like over uh, about like how many days of six weeks she did after you. It was like world history, ancient world history. Yeah. It's three. Yeah, this guy's throwing a shield, but it's almost been three years yeah, since yeah. I was in sixth grade. He could have used a shield to protect himself. He could have thrown it and playing with her. <laughs> These people are like, you know what, let's not use our shields. Because usually their shields would block a lot of damage. And their shields were made out of full cast That's iron, right. which would be a, a lot more effective against the arrows. Like what happened in the war where approximately 300 Spartans fought. You know, this is starting to turn into history lesson with me. <laughs> This is starting to turn into history lesson with the doctor. <laughs> so anyways, what happened is basically ma majority of the Spartans would majority of Spartan soldiers would be covered in complete bronze clothing right over here and their shields would be made out of bronze usually rather than hard wood. So basically when they were fighting against the Persians, their arrows weren't able to penetrate and basically they just had to try to take them over with brute force. Right, and the only thing is that not only did the spirit spirits, not only did the Spartans fight, but they also had help from other types of other what do you call them, clans units, empires in Greece. Right, they also had help from other empires. They had help from the Athens, Athens, whatever you pronounce them as. This is starting to turn into a history lesson rather than gameplay. But I gotta admit that history is kind of interesting, although it's kind of useless. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, and you guys can tell, in that history lesson, I managed to get myself approximately 48 units. Attack! Okay, show off. More. Alright, now these guys are just starting to show off. They're like, 
Let's slam the uh, spears. I can't even speak properly. Let's just slam the little spear. <laughs> Oh no, he just got... How are these arrows shooting him face first? Like, what are these arrows? What are their physics that they just decided to curve and rebound back? What happens if that guy wasn't there? Would these people get shot by their own arrows? Attack. I don't know. What sort of arrows do they have? But anyways, these guys are just like about to head into full-on battle with two flanks of sword rats. And they decide to run away like security cats. Great job. Yeah, you know what, let's not stop. Let's just completely obliterate them. Just look at all of that green stuff and all of that healing and red damage. And you guys can see over here, that's actually a sizable army which would be able to push us back. But when you guys look at this, we're absolutely decimating their entire villager system and we're gonna have to back up a bit. Yeah, if you guys are like in this type of situation where you guys want to do you might want to click the defend button and back up a little bit so you guys can like get a safe dis distance away from them as you guys can see I'll do over here, right guys? You see that these guys back up and the soldiers decide to like not attack and then you just click the attack button and they're like, huh, what? What's happening? I didn't expect this because the AI of this game is like, you know what, normal mode. And apparently this knowing when the arrows snipe them, that is interesting. Yeah, like, is the snow freezing them into snow? What is this? Yeah, why is there blood purple? Yeah, why is there blood purple tick? Maybe the ear just has a lot of oxygen. Yeah, but there you guys go. That was your history lesson by the doctor. And we managed to destroy them in 7 minutes? And 30 seconds. Wow, you are really slow at this game. <laughs> You are really bad at this game. I can do this way faster, guys. If you guys want to know my old strategies, well, maybe I'll be making a video showcasing them. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the Statue Crown and the Archidons, right? Archidons, a Statue Crown, and Miners must have upgrades, right? And I think over here, another ambush happens, right? Sword Wrath Encounter. The remaining group of Sword Rats try to take us over, and we have to just wait till sunrise. And you guys can tell this is... This has nothing, right? Eight well, why weren't we waiting? Why didn't the attack in the beginning? I know, we like, just finished this. I mean, these people are like, you know what? Let's have big brain. Let's give them time to like to set set up an army and then show them how powerful we are. Oh shit! They have so many archers and spearheads. What are we gonna do? We can defeat this. But really, instead of the Spiritans, what you guys could have done is you could have just gotten 8 Spiritans and they would have been able to hold them all off. Trust me guys, I've done this before. Alright, or you guys could get like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or you guys could get 8 Miners. Why did I count that? I know how many piles of piles, piles. I know how many piles of gold there is. Right, so let's just collect ourselves, our Miners, and I think we have enough wood. Do we have Seriously? <laughs> I can't even do one push-up while these guys are like, you know what, let's do push-up in a helmet and with a bronze sword. But yeah, because these sword rats have wamp skin, the wamp skin is super OP for units who are fighting up friends. Right, like if you have the wamp skin for the spearedens or like the sword rat, it's OP, right? And then you guys should have the savage skin for the magic tools because that allows them to do more damage. And the poison and the wamp skin again for the giants because then that helps the giants take less damage and another thing which it does is it allows them to have poison immunity which you guys will need later on all right guys let's just increase our army by a bit and we should be ready to go into battle pretty soon yeah how long does it take for sunset to happen i'm pretty sure it doesn't happen in like two minutes but okay Seems like their world is going at like 5 trillion times the speed and we are attacking, we have gone to war and it seems like these guys are attacking but look at how slow that guy in the front is and it seems like my 4 sword rats are managing to absolutely decimate them. <laughs> What's going on over here? It's like it's only 8 versus 30 and these 8 people are winning. These guys are like super soldiers over here. <laughs> and they dance. After murdering, ruthlessly murdering everyone they start dancing. And Way too cool. And you guys can see, we got a chest, and now guys, another thing is, chests are OP in the game. Remember to open them, because they give you gems and skins. And you guys should always equip your skins, because they do help you out a lot. Like, they help you out a lot more than you could ever imagine. 
Where you guys will see, you just go to your chest slots, click the collect button, open chest, and bam. Alright guys, let's see what we get from this chest, and it seems like we got ourselves 10 gems of haste potion, uh, whatever I'm speaking. But you guys can see, basically this is all we managed to get, and when you guys get a skin, which you already have, you guys get like the gems value of it, what they say the gems value are, so that's a thing. But yeah, since we already used our upgrades, I think we should go into the next round. But anyways guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and basically found this video sort of helpful and figured out how to move on forward and found this history lesson helpful, right guys? If you didn't like the gameplay, tell me you liked the history lesson down below and share this history lesson with your friends. But yeah, that's all for this video. One Doctor Genius is out the house. Bye and have a good time. Out.